Oh, hi. How are you guys? I'm doing great. Good to see you guys. Hey, QP. Nice to see you. What's up, Nikki? Welcome back. Welcome back. What's up, Free Bird Lilac? Hey, glad you could join. I can't read uh, those Korean words, so hi, person with a Korean name. Uh, yeah. Hey, over 200k subs. Yay. Yay. We have. What is it up to now? 210 or something? Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for bringing us over the edge. Uh, what's up, Lush? Nice of you to join. Hey, Patrick. Ooh. Uh, guess what I did today? I did. I bought a TV. That's right. That's what I did. But it's not for me. <laughs> so my parents' TV broke. It just broke. Uh, they were watching it, and then it just uh, died. It just turned off, uh, and it wouldn't come back up. And we tried, and we tried to resuscitate it, but it was dead. It was gone. It was like 10 years old or something. So I guess, uh, yeah. So we said goodbye to the old TV, and uh, I went ahead and bought them a new one. Um, not by myself. I split it with my brother. So we both. <laughs> Bought them a new TV. It's like the 75 inch TV. So it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, yeah. So we just installed it today. And they're happy. So there you go. That's what I did this morning. You watch all my new vids. All my vids in the past week. You binged the entire channel in one week. That's a lot of, vi that's a lot of videos. 211? All right. 211K. That's a lot of subs. Lack of TV makes you violent. I know. Nah. I don't watch. Do you guys watch a lot of TV? I don't watch a lot of TV. Uh, or I don't even use the TV that much. I, I just use my monitor. So I'm on the computer all the time. Yeah. I usually don't watch the TV. Even for movies or whatever, I'll just watch it on my computer. I think most of us do that these days, right? I don't know. When do you get to meet my brother? Why do you want to meet my brother? Why do you want to meet my brother? I don't know if he wants to meet you. I don't know if he wants to meet you guys. So... <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't have a channel or he's not a social media person or anything. So, yeah. Yeah. What's up, DD? Nice of you to join. It is, oh, Yakin. Yakin, it's 2 a.m. and you've got school today. Yeah, you better go to sleep. What are you doing? What are you doing up at 2 a.m., huh? Huh? Yeah, YouTube is basically TV now. Absolutely. Dum 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 dum. All right. What do we? What are we eating today? How many of you have cable, or have you have uh, cable TV, or do you not have that at all? Do you just have like the usual like Netflix and I don't know what what do kids have these days? Hulu, uh, Disney Plus. What do they have? I have Netflix and Amazon Prime. That's what I. That's all I have. All right. Ooh, look at this. It's gonna be our snack for today. Some crunchy strawberry pocky pocky sticks. Ooh, that's a that's a nice packaging. That's some nice packaging. The food must be good if the packaging is that nice. All right. Crunchy strawberry. We'll see about that. Let's see how crunchy it is. Hmm. It smells like strawberry. It tastes like strawberry. I don't know about crunchy. I guess the stick is crunchy. 
Hmm. Good stuff. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna have another one. No cable? No cable? You don't even have a TV? <laughs> Does anyone have cable? I don't think anyone has cable in here. It's pretty good. All right. Yakin, you're doing a 300 word essay. Ah, is that what you're doing? It's a late night. It's an all nighter. You're pulling an all nighter because uh, you procrastinated and you didn't write your essay last week. Is, am I right? Am I right? I think I'm right. Don't worry. I did that when I was, uh, when I was in school too. You have t over 20,000 movies and series on DVD, VHS, and Blu-ray. You guys still, you have, uh, you still have DVDs, huh? I don't even have a DVD. It's just all online. All right. So, what happened uh, last chapter? Uh, last week, so last week what happened? Our hero, uh, Ling Hu Chong, has escaped from his prison cell, all right? So he escaped uh, the Plum Manor uh, where he was held prisoner, and but then he comes back. He decides to come back to rescue Mr. Ren, right? Ren Wo Ting, who was uh, the guy who was um, in there before. So he... Uh, he thinks that uh, Run, Mr. Run was still in jail, so he he goes back and uh, to try to help him. And uh, he goes back and he's being a little stalker. All right, he spies on uh, the people in the manor from the outside, from a window or something. So what he sees is that uh, he sees uh, three of the four playfellows, okay, those four brothers, in the plum manor. He sees three of them there, and. And he also sees some elders from the demon cult. Like, uh, they're also there, and they're interrogating the playfellows, right? They're interrogating the brothers, because they think, they claimed that Mr. Ren has escaped, all right? And the, the brothers were like, no, no, he's not escaped. He's still uh, stuck in jail, um, in, in our prison under the lake, or whatever. So... Uh, they go to, so they, 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 uh, they go to, they go back into the jail cell to try to get Mr. Run out to prove that he's still there. And lo and behold, he wasn't there, right? He was, <laughs> he was gone. And the person who was there in his place was the fourth, um, brother. Right, uh, what was it? Mr. Black White. So Mr. Black White was there. So that, that was because Ling Hu Chong had escaped. And he put uh, Mr. Black White in the in the cell instead of him, right? So he runs. Uh, so so they uh, they find out that it was Mr. Black White and and uh, Mr. Run Run Wall Singh had actually escaped, right? And at that point, uh, Mr. Run shows up. Mr. Run and and Xiang Wen Tian, which is uh, uh, Ling Hu Chong's um, sworn brother that he just made uh, brothers with. So they they all uh, rush into they all charge into uh, the Plum Manor, and everyone there is super scared, right? All the 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 four uh, brothers and the the elders from the demon cult they're all scared because uh, Mister Run was the previous leader of the demon cult, all right? Now uh, or as he calls it, the Sun Moon Holy Sect, right? So he's a leader. He was a previous leader. He was held prisoner. Um, and the current leader is Dongfang Bubai, all right? So, uh, uh, that's what we find out in the last chapter. And he, uh, Mr. Ren was like, okay, well, now that I'm, uh, I've escaped, I'm going to take back my cult. Right? I'm going to take back the demon cult. And he, he goes, uh, everyone who wants to join me in my war, you have to drink, uh, these poison pills, right? 
Now, if you don't drink it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freaking just kill you, right? Um, but he makes them drink these poison pills. These uh, were called like corpse, corpse, pu- corpse bug pills. So these pills were uh, pills that would enter your brain and make you feel unbearable pain and uh, you would go crazy, right? That's what it, these are poison pills. And um, yeah, so if, they, if the, these bugs uh, crawl out of the pills and they crawl into your brain, you go, you, uh, you go crazy and you feel uh, uh, un- unbearable pain. And the only way to prevent this was to drink this medicine that he has every year, right? So every year you have to go to him and he gives you this medicine and you keep the bugs at bay for another year, right? So in that, uh, that way he can keep these guys enslaved, right? He can keep these guys under his control. So he makes everyone drink those pills and now they're in, on his side now. Uh, and after, that, all, after all that, um, Mr. Run and, and Xiang Wenxian and Ling Hu Chong, they all have uh, drink some wine together and they discuss the past and stuff like that. And Mr. Run asks Ling Hu Chong to join his side, right? To join the demon cult. Um, but Ling Hu Chong being part of the orthodox side of the martial arts world, and he's also still loyal to his old school, uh, the Hua Shan Sword School, he refuses to join the demon cult, right? He refuses, and, um, and like Mr. Run gets mad and stuff like that, and he runs away. So he runs away. And that's it. That's what happened last chapter. How's that? I don't think I missed anything. How did I learn to animate so well? I don't know. Um, I've been drawing off and on since I was a kid. So, uh, yeah, so I knew roughly how to draw and stuff like that. So, when I started the channel, I didn't know how to animate, but it's pretty easy, right? Uh, I use Adobe Premiere. It's this, uh, it's this editing tool. And yeah, yeah, so once you have, I can draw, I can draw, so once you have all those images, you can animate them, do whatever. Yeah. Nano Frost, what's up Nano Frost? You spent the last three days watching all your videos, all my videos. All of it, all of it. There's no way you can watch all of the videos in three days, unless you just, there's a lot of videos. A lot of videos. There's a bit of feedback whenever I speak. Is there anything running in the background? Ah, I don't think so. Let me check. Uh, feedback. Feedback. I don't think my setup is any different. Your phone, let me see. Cable in. Do, 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 do. How bad is the feedback? Is it bearable? Is it unbearable? Can you still listen? Or do, is this something I need to change? Um, you don't hear feedback? Okay. Maybe it's on your side. Maybe it's on your side. Why are you blaming me? Stop blaming me. All right, let's get back. All right, go. Do, 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 do. All right, let's do this. Oh, no, no, no. Stop, stop. All right, let's do this. Chapter 23, Ambush, Part 1.
What's up, Katie? Glad you could join. Glad, glad, glad you could join. Uh, Tom Brown, do I want to try a new background setup? What do you mean, new background setup? Background of what? All I have is this. <laughs> it's just the text. <clears throat> yeah, let's do this. Oh yeah, uh, one one thing. So we found out that um, if it wasn't clear last time, the translator has changed. It is, I think it's pretty obvious that the translator uh, has changed from the previous chapters to the recent, cha uh, from the previous chapters to the recent chapters. And to be honest, this, this new translator isn't that good. <laughs> I see a lot of tense changes in the middle of sentences, like changing from uh, past tense to present tense, things like that. And uh, apparently also, the, the translation is also not that good because uh, apparently they translate things too literally, right, from Chinese to English. And a lot of times that doesn't make sense. So, uh, but we're going to pass it. We're going to pull through it. We're going to pull, pull through it. I, I couldn't find a new, uh, another translation. I couldn't find a better translation. So we're stuck with it. Um, I don't think he, he, I don't think this particular translator does all of the rest of the chapters, but a lot of it, like a, a big portion um, of the rest of the, the story is translated by this one. So it's okay. We'll pull through it. We'll pull through it. Yeah, he also doesn't use a lot of large... Um, uh, a lot of complicated, well, a lot of big words. He doesn't use a lot of, he doesn't use it like a, a big vocabulary. So you, you uh, it's good for me because you, uh, it'll be hard for you to know if I, for, if I don't know the meaning to certain words. All right, let's do this. Lin Hu Chong was alarmed to suddenly hear someone calling his own name on a desolated mountaintop in the middle of the night. His first thought was, it's master, but it was the voice of a female, and it wasn't master wife, or Yue Ling Shan. His outburst was followed by a softer and quieter female's voice, which he could not hear clearly. Ling Hu Chang went towards the hillside and saw the shadows of 34 people standing up. His heart turned sour. Who scolded me? Is it really Hua Shan School's party? If Marshall's sister heard someone scolding me like that, I wonder how she would react. Okay, so if you remember, he ran away from, um, from Mr. Run, right? And he's walking off, he's doing his own thing. And he found a couple of people who were, it seems like they were going to ambush some people on this hillside. So he's, he's there and he's wondering, uh, he's watching to see what is happening. He lowered his body to hide beside a shrub on the side. He crouched and circled around the hillside to get closer to the group and hid himself behind a big tree. He heard a female's voice said, Marshal uncle, Marshal brother, Ling Hu is an upright and heroic. Hearing this half sentence, the picture of a delicately pretty face came to his mind. His chest became slightly constricted as he realized that the person saying this was Yi Lin. Oh, she's back the little nun from Hongshan School. He was disappointed to learn that these people were not from Huashan School. As his mind was somewhere else, he missed the next two sentences said by Yi Lin. He only heard the sharp, the sharp voice of the previous speaker saying angrily, You still dare to argue with your elder? Then that... Wait, that must be a woman. You still dare to argue with your elder? Then that letter from Mr. Yue of Huashan School is fake? Mr. Yue sent this letter to the entire realm, telling everyone that Ling Hu Chong had been expelled from Hua Shan because he's involved with devil sex people. What wrong can we do to him? When Ling Hu Chong saved you before, he probably wanted to depend on this small favor to plot against us. Marshal Uncle, it wasn't a small favor. 
But Marshal Brother Ling Hu disregarded his own life, answered Yilin. You're still calling him a Marshal Brother? This person is probably a shrewd and wicked, scheming thief, putting on airs and deceiving young children like you. In Jianghu, there are all sorts of sly and crafty people, swindling young people like you, because you have never experienced meeting them, the elder shouted in reply. Yilin answered, How can disciple not listen to Marshal Uncle's orders? But, but, Marshal Ling Hu... And the word brother wasn't said. She stiffly stood there, enduring the lecture. The elder asked, But what? Yilin appeared to be frightened and didn't dare to speak any more. <clears throat> this is a message from Songshan's alliance chief Zhuo. Devil sect is conducting a large-scale operation in Fujian to rob the Lin family of Fuzhou of their evil-resisting sword art. Alliance chief Zhuo wants the Five Mountain Sword Alliance to help in preventing the demon people from having the sword art manual. When great masters from the Five Mountain Sword Alliance stepped in, it is unavoidable that people will die without being buried. That child from Fuzhou's Lin family had already entered Mr. Yue's school, so it seemed that Huashan School has obtained the Sword Arts Manual, but actually they have not. We fear that the Devil Sect will have many traps. Also, when you add, the, add that ex-disciple of Huashan School, Ling Hu Chong, into the equation, our plight becomes even more unfavorable, because the Devil Sect may have inside information. Alliance Chief has put the responsibility of handling this matter on my shoulder and ordered me to lead us into Fujian. This matter concerns the fortune of both the Orthodox and the Devil sect. We can't allow any careless or indiscreet acts. 30 li from here is the border between Zhu, Jiang, and Fujian. Today, everyone has worked hard and had been hurrying along at night. We'll, we'll rest when we get to Nianbapu town. We'll then, hurry uh, we'll then hurry along so we can be in front and wait for the Devil sect people to launch their operation. By then, we would have waited at ease and have the advantage of waiting for an exhausted enemy. But you must still be on your guard, that elder announced. All the female disciples, numbering in scores of ten, complied with one voice. Ling Hu Chang thought, This pastor is in charge of this Hongshan school group, and Yi Lin is also her martial uncle. I've heard of the Three Ding of Hongshan. She must be Ningqing Shi Tai. She received my master's uh, letter and thought that I'm a bad person. I can't blame her for thinking this way. She wanted to get ahead, but didn't know that devil sect people are already setting up an ambush in front. Luckily, I, I knew, but how do I tell them about this? So the devil sect people were uh, are hiding uh, for an ambush to ambush this group of uh, students from the Hangshan school. Oh, look at this! We have a translator's note. Shitai means a nun who is already an old nun, but it can also be a title to a nun who holds a, p a high position in the temple. For lack of a better word in English, I'm leaving it as Shitai. How oh, the translator is talking to us, you guys. So he's talking about Ding Jing Shitai. So that's like Uncle Master, but it's, it's like, instead of Uncle Master, it's uh, Aunt Master. Then he heard Ding Jing Xu Tai said, Once we enter Fujian's boundary, you must be on your guard. Everyone around you will be your enemy. Even the servants from the restaurants or the tea houses might be spies for, from the devil sect. The walls have ears, just like the bushes might have enemy hiding within. From now on, do not mention anything about the evil resisting sword art manual, Mr. Wei, Mr. Yue, Ling Hu Chong, and Dong Fang Bu Bai. So he's describing, uh, he's saying Dong Fang Bu Bai means the Dong Fang, the undefeated, or Dong Fang in invincible. The female disciples answered together, yes. Ling Hu Chong knew that de the devil sex chief Dong Fang Bu Bai's kung fu had no match in the world which was why he was called undefeated. But when the orthodox schools talked about him, they frequently referred to him as Bibai. 
They did this to nullify the meaning behind the enemy's name and to mock him. After hearing her mention his own name, his master's name, and Dongfang Bu Bai's on the same level, he couldn't help but laugh bitterly. I'm just a nameless person, while you're a senior from Hongshan School. You flatter me too much to mention my name in the same breath as my master's and Dongfang Bu Bai's. Ding Jing Shu Tai continued, Everyone, let's go. All the disciples answered in one voice and complied with the order. He then saw seven female disciples sped away from the hillside, followed by another seven soon after. Hangshan School's Qinggong was famous in the Wulin world. The seven people in front and the seven people at the back kept the distance between them constant as they run, as they ran, resembling a troop formation. The sleeves of the fourteen people were floating in the air and they were all synchronous in their running. It was extremely beautiful to look at. Not too long after that, another seven people started to go down the hill. In a short time, all of Hangshan School's groups have moved out. Altogether, there were six groups. The last group consisted of eight people, with the extra person being Ding Jing Shi Tai. One of these females were not nuns, but secular disciples of Hangshan. In the darkness of the night, Ling Hu Chong wasn't able to recognize which group Yi Lin was in. He thought, these disciples from Hang Shan must each have their own unique skill, but when they're climbing that steep slope between the two peaks, the devil sect people will ambush them. They will definitely suffer heavy injuries and deaths. He took a handful of green grass, squeezed them, and smeared the juices on his face. Then he dug out some mud and smeared it on his face, hands, his face, hands, and thick beard. Even if it were daytime, Yilin would not be able to recognize him under all the mud. I don't know. Even with that, would she be able to recognize him? Maybe. Ling Hu Chong then circled the hillside to go back to the road and started chasing after them. Originally, his Qinggong wasn't all that good. But whether your Qinggong was high or low was dependent on the strength of your internal energy level. Right now, his internal energy was high, so he could take a step as he willed, and each step was also very far away. At this speed, he caught up with Hang Shan School's people in no time at all. He was afraid that Ding Jing Shi Tai might hear his footsteps as he came closer to them, so he overtook them by running in a big circle. Once he was ahead of them and was back on the main road, he ran even faster. When he arrived at the bottom of the slope, the moon was already above his head. He stood there, listening to his surroundings, and did not hear a single sound. If I didn't see the devil sect people setting up an ambush here, then a disaster would have happened at, the, at this place. A great disaster. He slowly walked up the steep slope and arrived at the beginning of the road, between the two peaks. He was around a li away from the ambush place. He sat down and started thinking. The devil sect people have probably seen me here, but they're afraid to alert the enemy, so they are just letting me sit here. After waiting for some time, he lied down on the ground. He lay down. At finally, he heard the faint steps coming up from the hillside. He thought, it's best if I lead the devil sect people to start fighting with me first. After fighting for a little bit, then Hang Shan School will be aware. He then said angrily at the people on the top of the slope, What old man hates the most is being stabbed in the back. Then I won't know whether they are real swords or spears. Stabbing in the back is a very rotten method. You, hiding there, get up! Evil ghost, harming people by ambush, how contemptible and disgraceful. Although his voice wasn't loud, he had, an abundance of, he had put an abundance of qi to deliver it, so it was able to travel far. He was guessing that the devil sect people had heard what he said, but who would have thought these people could really hold in their anger and unexpectedly did not pay attention to him at all? Not long after, Hang Shan School's his first group of seven disciples arrived in front of him. Under the moonlight, the seven disciples could see an officer sleeping on the ground, with his four limbs extended out. 
Only one person at a time can go up the mountain pass, as it was flanked by high cliffs on both sides. Therefore, if they wanted to go up the slope, they have to step across his body first. These disciples only had to lightly jump to go across his body, but between man and woman, there must be a separation. In order to jump across, they would they also have to go they also would have to go over his head. This was just too rude. A middle-aged nun said with a clear voice, Excuse me, officer. Please lend us a path. Ling Hu Chong made two woo-woo sounds, snoring loudly. Is that how you snore? That nun's Buddhist name was Yi He, but her, but her temper was not peaceful at all. She saw that this officer was sleeping soundly in the middle of the road, snoring so loudly that he must be deliberately pretending to be asleep. This made her all the more agitated. She held back her anger and said, If you don't make way, we will jump over you. Ling Hu Chong kept his loud snoring and muttered, Lots of demons and ghosts on this road. Mustn't go through it. Ooh, ooh. The, that's a snore, right? Is it an, should we do a snoring sound? Mustn't go through it. The, the sea of bitterness is endless. Turn, turn around, and you will see the beach. Yi He was startled when she heard this, as his words seemed to carry two meanings. Another pun, another nun, pulled Yi He back by tugging her sleeve, and the seven nuns retreated several steps. One person whispered, Marshal, sister, this person is weird. Another one said, I'm afraid he might be the devil sex spy challenging us. Another person said, I don't think the devil sex people would go and get a government job as a military officer. I think he's disguising himself. He didn't dirty his attire when he was disguising himself. Yuhu said, Don't worry about him. He's not getting us. He's not letting us get through, so we'll jump over him. Before she jumped, she asked again, If you're really not making way, then we just have to offend you. Ling Hu Chong stretched out lazily and slowly got up. He was still afraid that Yi Lin might recognize him, so he faced the hillside. So Ling Hu Chong is like trying to, trying to stop them from going, uh, uh, going, um, uh, from continuing on the road, right? So that they won't be ambushed. So he's pretending to be this guy, like he's pretending to be this guy asleep. In the middle of the road. The back of his body was facing the Hung Shan school disciples. With his right hand leaning on the cliff face, his body swayed from side to side, looking like a drunk. He said, Good wine, good wine. At this moment, the second group of Hung Shan school disciples arrived. Marshal, Sister Yi He, what's this person doing here? asked the secular disciple. Who knows what, what he's doing here? answered Yi He. Ling Hu Chang said in a loud voice, Just then I butchered a dog. My tummy is so full after eating it. I've also drunk a lot of wine. I'm afraid I might vomit. Hi, <laughs> not good. I'm really gonna vomit. A vomiting sound was heard briefly. Oh, wow. Hey, beginning human. Thank you for the super chat. Wow, $50. That's a lot of money. What are you doing? <laughs> That's a lot of money. Okay, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. The female disciples scowled and one by one retreated back. Ling Hu Chong made the vomiting sound, the vomiting sound a few more times, although nothing was coming out. The disciples were discussing among themselves when the third group also arrived. He heard a soft voice said, This person is drunk. He's very pitiful. Let him rest. We can't be delayed. When Ling Hu Chang heard this voice, his heart fluttered. He thought, Marshal Sister Yi Lin has a very good heart. But Yi He said, This person is deliberately making a fuss here. He must have some bad intention. She then took a step forward and shouted, Make way! While she pushed Ling Hu Chang's left shoulder, Ling Hu Chang swayed forward and shouted, I know, this is disastrous. He took a few stumbling steps up the slope, staggering from side to side. After walking a few steps, the situation had become even more awkward. 
His body was now filling in the narrow pass completely. If it were not for the inappropriateness, the people behind him would have jumped over his head to get past. Yu Hu went forward and shouted, Make way already! Yes, yes, answered Ling Hu Chong. He took a few more steps up. He got even higher as he moved forward, making the narrow pass even more difficult to pass. Suddenly, he shouted very loudly, Hello, friends above, waiting to ambush. Please, uh, pay attention, please. The people you're waiting for have arrived. You guys should come out now. No one here would be able to escape. When Yi He and the other disciples heard of this, they immediately retreated back. One disciple said, This place is really dangerous. If the enemy ambushes us now, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have great difficulty in fighting back. Yi He said, if there's someone waiting to ambush us, why is he calling them out? It's just an empty threat. Empty threat. There's nobody up there. If we retreat in fear, the enemy will laugh at us. Another two middle-aged nuns said together, Yeah, three people will have to... Yeah, we three people will make way in front. Marshal sisters, follow us behind. The three nuns pulled their long swords out and went forward towards Ling Hu Chong's back. Ling Hu Chong continuously panted loudly and said, This hillside road is very steep. Wait. This hillside road is very steep. I, old man, is very old now. I can't go further. One of the nuns said, Hey, you, you go to one side and let us walk ahead first. Is this okay? No, don't get angry. Walking fast will get us there. Walking slow. Wait, wait, that is not what he said. Oh, that is what he said. Oh, don't, don't get angry. Walking fast will get us there. Walking slow will also get us there. Hi, hi. I, when going towards the gates of hell, it is better to go slowly. That nun said, Why are you beating around the bush trying to scold the people? With a shout, Yi Hu thrust her sword towards Ling Hu Chang's heart from behind. This thrust was only meant to scare him into making way for them, so when the sword was about to pierce his body, it stopped short. At this exact moment, Ling Hu Chong also turned his body around. He saw that the tip of the sword was pointed at his chest and shouted, Hey, you, you, what are you doing? I'm a government official. I didn't, didn't expect that you would dare to be this rude. Come, people, seize these nuns. Some of the younger nuns couldn't help but to hold in their, couldn't help holding in their laughter anymore. This person was on a desolated mountainside, but was still exhibiting a bureaucratic air. It was really comical. A nun laughingly said, Officer, we have an urgent matter and are hurrying along. Please move to a side and let us through. What officer? I'm a general. You should call me general. Then I'll let you through, said Ling Hu Chong. Seven to eight female disciples laughingly said, General, please make way. Ling Hu Chong laughed and straightened up. He puffed up his chest and tucked in his stomach, looking arrogant. Suddenly, he slipped and fell on the ground. The female disciples squealed and called out in alarm, Be careful! And two of them quickly held onto his arms. Ling Hu Chong slipped one more time before he stood firm. He then scolded, His granny, this ground is so slippery. The local government is a bucket of rice, unlike those common people. So a bucket of rice means a good for nothing. Means good for nothing. They should keep the mountain road in good condition. He had already slipped twice, and now he leaned his body against a small depression on the cliff wall. Hung Shan School's disciples quickly used their chingong to go through. One by one, they went past him swiftly. One of them laughed. The local governments will send eight people with a sedan chair to carry General over this mountain range. That's the way to do it. Another one said, General rides a horse. General, uh, wait. Another one said, a general rides a horse, not a sedan chair. The next one said, This general is different than the others. When riding a horse, he's afraid that he might fall down on the ground. Ling Hu Chang indignantly said, Nonsense! How many times have I fallen down from riding a horse? Last month, that horse was scared to death by a tiger. 
Only then did I slid from the horse's back and injured my upper arm, so that one cannot be counted. The disciples laughed aloud while climbing the slope like wind. Ling Huchong saw a slender body shook. It was Yi Lin. He immediately followed behind her, again blocking the disciples behind her. His steps were heavy, and he was also panting heavily. For every three steps, he slipped two steps. He was climbing and falling at the same time. Fortunately, he was actually walking quite quickly. The disciples behind were laughing and complaining at the same time. You general is really... Cough. Cough. You general is really... <coughs> don't, don't know how many times you must fall down in a day. Yilin turned her head and said, Marshal Sister Yi Ching, don't rush the general. He's already trying to hurry. Don't make him slip for real. This slope is really steep. Falling down would be serious. Ling Hu Chong saw her two big eyes. They were clear and bright like two clear fountains. Her, her elegant face shone under the moonlight, looking very beautiful. He remembered the day when they were evading the pursuit of the Qing Cheng school. She carried him out from inside the city of Hangshan, and he was staring at her right now, just like he did at that time. Suddenly, he felt a soft and gentle feeling rising up in his heart. He thought, at the top of this slope, there are many concealed enemies wanting to harm her. I don't care about my life, but I must protect her and make sure she is safe. Yilin saw his two eyes looking dull and his appearance ugly. She nodded slightly at him revealing a warm and smiling countenance. She said, Marshal Sister Yi Ching, if the general slipped and fell, you must quickly give him a hand. Yi Ching laughed. He's very heavy. How do I help him? Originally, Hang Shan School's rules were very strict. These female disciples did not easily chat and laugh with strangers, but Ling Hu Chong had been acting like a clown, making them laugh repeatedly. Also, there were no elders around. As the dark night turned, uh, wait. As the dark night hurried along, and after exchanging some harmless jokes, everyone was feeling livelier. What? Is there something wrong with the connection? Can you still hear my audio? Uh, what? Oh no. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what is going on. So the audio is okay. The audio is okay, but the video is not. Uh, 